Hey guys, it's Brian for GumballTech.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 3rd generation, iPod Touch 4th generation, which is the latest iPod Touch, the iPad, and the iPhone 4. Now, Geohot, who has been away from the jailbreaking scene since the middle of July, uh, he today on October the 9th, he released Lime Rain. And according to LimeRain.com, it's been in the making for six months, and it is an untethered jailbreak for the said devices, and it works on 4.0 all the way up to 4.1, and he also says that it works beyond. So maybe once the final version of 4.2 is released, this jailbreak might also work. And he also says that this jailbreak is unpatchable. And basically, it is untethered thanks to, or thanks to Comex, and right now you can download it for Windows. Uh, he's making a Mac OS X and Linux version soon. So basically, um, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your device. So the first thing you need to do is click on the download for Windows. Um, I will be jailbreaking my iPhone 4 running iOS 4.1. And once you download it, you can go ahead and open it up on your desktop. Let me zoom in. Well, let me zoom back out really quick. Now you just double click on it. And let me see how good I can get it to show up. Okay, so basically, what you got to do is click on Make It Rain. Now I'm going to try and bring my iPhone 4 into the frame so you can see what's happening on it. Let me move this over a little bit just to make things a little more uh, neater. So basically, you click on Make It Rain. It's going to wait for your device to enter recovery mode. And on my iPhone 4, you can see that it is rebooting, and it should go into recovery mode right there. Now it's telling me to hold home and power. Now this is already a little bit different than his usual jailbreak, such as Black Rain. Uh, that's more of a one-click solution. This is a, uh, it's a it's, it takes a little more steps. You actually have to manually uh, put your device into DFU mode. And it, it's pretty much just like Red Snow from the iPhone dev team. Uh, it's able to jailbreak your device on the fly. You just have to manually put it into into uh, what is it called DFU mode. And according to Lime Rain, it says that the jailbreak is done. And on my iPhone 4, you can see the logo for it. Then we now have a pop-up that says your jail your jailbreak is done. Turn it on when you're d when done. And untether thanks thanks to Comex. Uh, it goes to LimeRain.com if you'd like to donate for future development. And my iPhone 4 is now off, so I'm going to push the power button. And it is turning on. Okay, so it's rebooting once more. And then once Lime Rain says that the uh, the jailbreak is done, you could go ahead and close out of Lime Rain. And if you'd like, you could delete the uh, the EXE. All right, so now we're at the lock screen of my iPhone 4. It definitely took a lot longer than usual to boot up, but that could be due to a number of different reasons. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide it to unlock, and if I slide over to my second page, there should be an icon for Cydia, or excuse me, Lime Rain. Uh, similar to Black Rain, you have to open up the application first, and you could actually see that the original icon is still Black Rain. But anyway, uh, you have to tap on Cydia, and then click on or tap on install in the upper right. And if you've used Black Rain before, this is just like it. And basically, it will download Cydia and then it will install it for you. And then once your device turns back on, go over to the second page and you should see Cydia. Then you could go ahead and open that, get all your sources and packages set up like it was before. Um, Again, I did do this on an iPhone 4 running a brand new install of iOS 4.1, and so far the Lime Rain jailbreak seems to be working just fine. GeoHot definitely came through again and, you know, works great. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Leave all of your questions down below if you have any, and subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys later.